hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what. You know how it's going to here? Pretty good, really. It's really, really tired out right now, but it's been a pretty good day. You know why? Because my landlord had some plumbers come over today and replace this 23-year-old aging, decrepit, doesn't work anymore water heater with a new one. And finally, not only do I have heat working as of yesterday, because that's when the furnace got worked on and got working again, but I also have hot water. I have just spent the last two hours working on cleaning up dishes and cleaning up in the kitchen and whatnot, stuff that hasn't been touched in a very long time, that has been almost impossible to get any effective cleaning on. And finally, it's starting to look like an actual human being lives here. How about that? Isn't that amazing? And now I am completely, freaking totally exhausted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crash for a while. I'm going to take a nap, get some rest. Then I'm going to get up and I'm going to take a really long, hot shower. Because by then the machine will have had a chance to refill itself again and reheat and so on. And then I'm going to sit down to the live stream and we're going to go and get going with some live stream action because you see in the last night's live stream a rather unfortunate thing happened. Well there was a cool thing and an unfortunate thing. The cool thing is that one Erlis Kerman, a really uh, daring SOB he is, he was in orbit around Minmus and he went for a landing. His ship was not landing rated. It did not have landing legs or any kind of way to balance it and keep it upright. He landed that sucker on the engine bell. Absolutely perfect, nice, 0.5 meter per second touchdown. Beautiful. It was a little bit hairy getting back into the ship after he went outside to get surface samples and whatnot, but it worked out. On the other hand, spurred on by that, one Sigri Kerman, daring SOB to he is, a very fortunate brainy SOB too, he managed to, uh, he, he decided to, he had to go with the inspiration from Erlis, he went on a trip to the moon, and he was going in for a landing, and then there was a control failure. The control for open throttle all the way got stuck. And so he had to abort the landing, ran out of fuel trying to get back into orbit, wasn't quite back into orbit, so he gets out of the capsule, uses his EVA pack to provide him with the additional thrust he needed to get into some kind of a survivable orbit, and hung there in orbit in his spacesuit and watched as his ship crashed back down on the moon's surface. And so, Sigri is caught and he's stuck in moon orbit. He can't come back to Kerbin on his own in his EVA pack. I mean, those packs have got a lot of wallop in them, but they don't have enough to get you all the way back from the moon. And so, a rescue mission needs to be launched. Ship has been designed. It has not been tested very much. And it may not work, but it might work. And it looks awful. So, be sure to tune in tonight. Watch Twitter for the stream announcement and so on. Twitter.com slash tinfoilchef is where the uh, streaming announcement will happen. And the channel on Twitch is twitch.tv slash tinfoilchef. Tune in for the further adventures of Sigri Kerman as he gets rescued, or not, from his perilous flight around the moon. And then who knows what else might go on. Meanwhile, the fundraising effort continues. Today is Thursday the 13th of the 14th, excuse me, and uh, there is a deadline of, uh, you know, that's when the deadline, last I recall, was going to be when uh, these folks' power was going to be turned off, and it's an all-electric house, so I'm going to be streaming, trying to raise some funds for that, having some fun with Kerbal Space Program, do stop by, and oh, by the way, this whole Google Comments thing, I'm sorry to say it, but if you're not commenting from a G Plus thing, from a YouTube account that's been linked to G Plus, unfortunately, I don't, I'm 
figuring out that I can't reply to comments that are not linked to G+. Uh, I'm sorry about that because I like replying to comments. I really do. And I wish they'd not keep that requirement in there like that. It was a little bit ridiculous. And uh, this whole tying G plus to YouTube, I can see where there's some reason for it, but the implementation blows. And uh, the fact that it's kind of half broken right from the start, uh, that's, that's no good. So if I don't reply to your comment, I'm not being rude. I'm just probably, very possibly, not able to. So, anyway, that's what's going on for right now. I'm off to get some Z's and get ready for streaming tonight. Exact time, I'm not sure. 9, 10 o'clock, something-ish like that. Like I said, watch uh, twitter.com slash tinfoilchef or twitch.tv slash tinfoilchef. Either way, you'll know. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. The Tenfold Show.